Hi welcome to Code Sci-Fi. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to add Firebase into our project and what Firebase real-time database is. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a feature to let users sign up and log into the app using Firebase Auth. To begin, let's create an Auth service that will handle all user authentication. In Angular, components should not fetch or save data directly and they certainly shouldn't knowingly present fake data. They should focus on presenting data and delegate data access to a service. Services are a great way to share information among classes that do not know each other. Here, user authentication should be known in several places, like the form creation component or like component. They do not necessarily know each other, but they should know whether a user is authenticated or not. Open the app.module.ts and import auth.service into our app module. The file has not been created yet, so let's create auth.service.ts. Some developers might prefer having all services under one directory, while others might prefer grouping related components and services together. In this tutorial, we will just have a flat hierarchy to keep it simple. Open the file auth.service.ts. We will need to import Firebase app and Angular Fire 2 slash auth, as well as Observable from Reactive Extensions for JavaScript, which is a library for reactive programming using observables that makes it easier to compose asynchronous or callback-based code. Let's declare the auth service by using the decorator at injectable. This marks the class as one that participates in the dependency injection system. The auth service class is going to provide an injectable service, and it can also have its own injected dependencies. It doesn't have any dependencies yet, but it will soon. In this service, we will keep the state of our current user which has the type of observable. In the constructor, we will inject a dependency called Firebase auth. Firebase will handle all the hard work with the back end and just let us know the state of the current user, like whether the user has registered, signed in or logged out. Let's create some methods to handle when a user clicks on the sign up and sign in buttons. In the sign up method, we will take in the input of email and password and hand it over to Firebase off by using the method create user with email and password. We also need to provide the callback for Firebase off to call when it successfully creates user authentication or fails to register the user. We also need to provide meaningful log messages in those cases. Similarly, we can create a login method to handle when the user clicks on the login button if they already registered. In this case, we should use Firebase Auth sign in with email and password. To use the auth service, import it in the app.module.ts and add it into the list of providers like on line 27. Open the app.component.ts and import the auth service, and inject the auth service into the constructor of the app component. Let's create two properties to store the username and password as strings. This is not really recommended as we shouldn't store them as plain text on the client due to security reason, but I am keeping it simple here. Let's create a signup handler in the app that will call the auth service to sign up given the username and password properties. Once we hand over the username and password, we should clear them out immediately. We can do similarly with the login handler. And of course, add the logout handler when the user wants to sign out. We haven't added the form to authenticate users yet. Let's open the template of the app component and add a simple form. We can use ng if here to remove the entire post creation form and the list of posts if the user has not been logged in yet. If user has been authenticated, we will display the form and the list of posts. The authentication form should be simple with two inputs for the email and the password. The template of the app component is hard to read now. Let's refactor this into its own component called auth form component. We can copy from the post creation form and change the properties into email and password. Remember to rename the template too.
That looks better. All right, we will use the same form for both sign in and sign up scenarios, but we need the input to distinguish the state. Let's create an input called should sign in to change the description and functionality of the submit button. When the user is already registered, we will display the sign in form, and if not, then we will display the sign up form. Since auth component now is a child component of the app component, it needs to communicate with the parent component somehow. Remember the tutorial when we learned how to bubble up the information from the child component to the parent component? We can add an emitter to emit the user information to the app component once the user email and password has been entered. In that way, the app component can hand over to the auth service. This is a bit complicated, but it makes sure that the auth form only displays the form according to the state of the input should sign in, and it has no business knowing other component states. The app component should oversee the entire app state. In the app.component.ts, let's set a handler for the emitted user information from the auth form called on sign up and call the auth service directly, then clean up the other methods. We can do similarly to the login method. Let's try it. There are some errors and we can look at the console log for more information. Well, it is because we have not turned on the authentication feature on the Firebase website. Let's turn it on. Now try again. Great, you can see that we have successfully signed up and also logged in. Everything is done magically without setting up any server. Oh by the way, we should create a log out button, so users can log out. That looks great. The current auth form only allows signing up since the input of the auth component has not been set up. Let's create a checkbox, so users can toggle it when they already registered. We will bind the state of the checkbox with the property should sign in. There is a problem here. The checkbox state is set only once from the input, and it won't update automatically when users click on the checkbox. To do so, we need to add ng on change to handle the click on the checkbox. Remember to import on changes from Angular. By doing so, we can see what has been changed in the form. Put some console log messages and you can see them. There we go. So we can just see whether the value has been changed or not. If so, we will update the property should sign in. Also, we should add some label to make it clearer. Great. It works. So we have created a simple authentication service using Firebase Auth without having any server or database. We will learn more about Angular in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.